Welcome back to another video, my name is Dion and today we're going to be talking about my Forex journal. So if you're new to this channel, I just trade Forex, I'm documenting every trade, every thought, everything. So if that sounds like something you'd like, subscribe for more and leave a comment on what you would like to see next. So for today, like I said, I'm talking about how I document my trading. So I'm going to be talking about and showing my Forex journal. Now there's two things I use to journal my trading. That is Microsoft OneNote and Microsoft Excel. I really like OneNote because I can put my charts, I can do writing. It's very easy to use and it's very friendly in terms of what you can do with it. Also, I can use it on my computer and my phone and they're both synced together so whatever I do on my computer it's going to show up on my phone vice versa I love this because when I'm on the go or when I don't have access to my computer I can still journal I can put in my thoughts I can do whatever I want and it's always going to be there on both devices okay so as you can see here on the screen this is my OneNote I keep an Excel so okay so when I said I put everything on my Excel on my OneNote this is what I'm talking about here so um, I have my May and my April profit and loss per day now they do look a little bit different that's because I make changes whenever I feel like changes need to be made so recently I've added in this pips section so that I can you know count how many pips I'm losing or winning. I also keep a profit and loss chart based on the months so I can see my progress from month to month. So you can see month in March I lost a little bit, April I lost more, but that's all good because this month in May will be our first profitable month. Now this is the most important one for me, it's uh, charts with discussion. So pretty much what I talk about here is literally yeah, my charts with discussion. So let's go into this a little bit. So when I make a trade, I will add what I'll do like a screenshot of the trade that I took, including the loss, uh, the stop loss and the take profit. Now, I really like this. This is a new thing I started doing about two days ago. So instead of I will scroll up to when I wasn't. So I used to just do charts and then just do a little description about them, like why I entered and so, but I decided to make it more organized with more details so that when I do read it, it's easier to understand and a lot easier to sort of analyze. So this is the trade that I entered today. Th actually, today's Wednesday. I, I, for some reason, I think it's Thursday, but today's Wednesday. So I'll change that in a sec. But I entered short on Euro USD. I put in my entry. I'll put in my stop loss, my take profit. And then when I exit the trade or if I get taken out the trade, I'll put that and then underneath pips, so I'll talk about how many pips that I won or lost. Then I'll have my reason for entering. Now as you can see, multiple touches and retests of the resistance, which is here. Break of the short term uptrend. Um, attempt to retest on the uptrend resistance. And yeah, pretty much I talk about why I entered the trade. Then just a little note. So pretty much on this one, I just wrote a quarter of risk up to 2%, but we'll see how it plays out. So yeah, that's how I'm going to be tracking every single trade from now on. And I will be showing you every single trade that I make at the end of every week. What else do I have? My journal. So this is just about my thoughts. So as you can see here, I'm deciding to clean things up, tidy and organize the way my work is recorded. And this is the format I'll be using. So my journal is just all about the thoughts that I've been having yeah, that, that's all it is. Thoughts I've been having changes I decide to make and I'll be able to go through this and understand my mentality or my thinking or what I was thinking at the time. So if I scroll all the way up, you can see here, this is when I was changing my trading routine to make it more structured. The, I'm talking about what trades are, what pairs that I want to trade, etc. So yeah, that's my journal. I just journal my thoughts. Now videos to learn from, these are some videos which I found very important. Now I probably will make a video on um, where I learned how to trade because I'm not paying for any courses or anything so I'll make a video on how I learned to trade, who I'm learning from, who I recommend for what etc. Now my setups and results, so this is when I'm having thoughts about a certain setup. I will. It's sort of like the journal, but instead of just thoughts about trading, these are thoughts about setups 
on charts that I'm seeing. So as you can see here, you know, uh, what pair is that? That is AJ. So I can see a downtrend from the start of 2019. Um, currently on, it's currently on the third retest of resistance. I put here a little like Fibonacci. So this is just if I don't enter a trade or from unsure and want to, you know, sort of in, look, okay, instead of taking a trade on a demo account or something, I'm going to put my thoughts on here. I'm going to talk about will I, would I go long, would I go short, see how it plays out and put it on that chart so I can see how my thinking is and how the chart actually plays out. Alright, now let's talk about my Excel. So I do my work on Excel before I move it over to the OneNote. That's just because I haven't figured out how to make OneNote work with formulas and for it to automatically calculate things. So I'm going to go through it. As you can see here, we are on May, so it's this month. I'm going to talk about what I record and why. So obviously, keep track of the days I take the trade. This is so that I know when I did what, and I can keep track on the frequency of how often I trade and, you know, maybe what days I lose more trades, what days are better trades. It's I can take every little detail. Next up, the profit or loss. That's pretty self-explanatory. Did I lose? Did I win? If so, how much? The action. What the action is, is how I got taken out the trade or how the trade was stopped. So as you can see here, most of it has been stop losses. Now, stop being taken out the trade. But Alright, so what stop loss means is, yeah, I got taken out by a stop loss. But this isn't the original stop loss. This could mean if I adjusted my stop loss up to like a risk free zone or take profit. So either of these, for example here, stop loss on the first 86 cents. I must have moved my stop loss up to like a margin of take profits or yeah, that's, a, that's what the trade is. Or here, ME, so that's manual execution. That means I saw that, hey, there's a break of structure in the market, it's probably going to reverse. In this case, it actually did, so I'm glad I manually exited the trade, took the profits, and that put me into a overall profits for the month. Next, pips. So, how much pips did I make from that trade? Now, the reason why I've started counting pips and not just the dollar amount is just say I make $500 because I put high leverage, but in that trade, I only caught say yeah 50 pips but then there's another trade where I'll make less make it like a hundred dollars because I use lower leverage but I caught like 150 pips you can tell you know the smaller win with the dollars was actually a better trade because I caught more pips so the dollar amount for me is deceiving just because you can always you know change your risk and I just think counting pips is more accurate so that's why I decided to count pips so my equity, this is automatically calculated after each trade. So if I win or lose, the equity will automatically be calculated. Now there's a big jump from uh, yeah 130 to you know nearly 200, but that's just because I put more money into my, into my account. And because of my equity, I also have, or not because of the equity, I also have my risk of the next trade, which is calculated based on my equity. Now I've made it based to be. 1% because every trade I've been making is just 1% risk. So yeah, that's pretty self that's pretty self-explanatory. That's everything that I track on my Excel and at the end of every month I will take the details and move them over into my OneNote. But for the sake of this video, I didn't actually do it. Like I, I didn't wait until the end of the month. I just chucked it in just for the sake of the video. So, that's it. That's how I journal my Forex trades. That's how I keep track of everything. So, yeah, let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know how you journal your trades. If you do, if you don't, was this useful? If it was, leave that thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. If you don't want to see more, then I guess don't subscribe and don't like the video. So, yeah, that's it for today. My name's Dion, I will see you in the next video.